Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Um, today we're back again with Gardner Hallgate uh, Auctioneers based in the uh, UK for their third in a series of musical instrument related auctions. Uh, this one is musical instruments in general which is finishing on the 12th of March. Um, 398 items, wow they're really trying to kill us with the uh, amount of things to look at here uh, i feel sorry for the auctioneer so that's going to be a full day of uh kind of going through the auctions there starting at 10 a.m it's probably going to finish at like 6 p.m or something so i feel sorry for the uh auctioneer there having to go through all the listings but without further ado let's uh view this catalogue so um just as we talked about before 20 percent buyer's premium on top of the hammer price uh, online bids might be a bit higher depends on the platform read through everything make sure you know what you're getting yourself into shipping and terms and stuff especially in the pandemic always read up about things read up how to set up an account how the whole system works it's not too complicated but always good to do that first um well let's get into the lots and let's just try and speed through and do what we did in the amp one and take a bit more of an overview and just look at the kind of main interesting things right so we're starting off we've got an unusual guitar banjo set up as a five string banjo uh zither banjo banjo by w temlet maker london 19th century english fretless six string banjo 19th century english seven string fretless banjo uh, i know someone that's a banjo maker i'm not that au fait with banjos but that uh looks quite interesting interesting inlays on the uh fingerboard on those uh those two uh two pairs of old brass cymbals five various uh single brass cymbals there you go four various gongs tam tams a rare white metal and gilded handheld jingling johnny interesting large japanese bronze dobachi old drum mages wooden and white metal mace interesting inscribed to the head Westminster Girls Training Corps, 60 inches long. Uh, Gardner Hall Gate Auctions always have some very interesting uh, stuff. Uh, illustrated catalogue by G.A. Frechner. So I presume that's kind of mainly, yeah, there you go, violins, cellos, bows, etc., etc., all of that kind of stuff. Um, chromolithographic coloured poster on linen of a kind of uh, Shentus à la harp interesting uh, another one of something else what is this hermanus rocker musicals uh, old five string banjo in need of a restoration three row anglo concertina with 32 bone buttons always expensive always popular concertinas i've said this before i'm not sure who plays them other than the kind of folk people but they're popular collection of various records four antique and later nepalese sarangi uh, mah mahogany height adjustable music stool four interesting early tambourines section of interesting antique drumsticks and oh, that's curious for the drummers include a civil war drum sling and sticks six pairs in total that's something you don't see that often uh, usually because they break quite a lot but uh, there you go antique drumsticks uh, jg abbott and co five string resonator banjo rare six string fretless minstrel banjo so for 1850 a uh, rare and interesting viola de gamba shaped mandolin i kind of have a feeling this was in the last auction but maybe not two miniature tortoise shell and mother pearl inlaid instruments good contemporary uh romanian bazooki square piano by john broadwood and son always uh George, uh broadwood uh piano somewhere uh london 1903 uh well, someone's interested in it so that's good uh the kamea vibranti five string banjo um a five string banjo another one interesting unnamed five string banjo interesting and unusual five string banjo a lot of banjos 1895 riley baker perfected painted five string aluminium banjo oh interesting x lot 25 from chiswick auctions this is interesting yeah you don't see these too often yeah very nice and nice engraving there yeah that's lovely well if you're a banjo connect um collector yeah that's a very nice banjo what's the uh estimate 300 to 500 starting 180 yeah it's nice 
That's a, a nice, interest, interesting instrument. Okay. A Lulu Gook guitar ukulele in need of new tru- tuners with a contemporary hard case. Okay. Uh, Stuart Longbridge, high ridge, six string left handed ukulele. Collins UC1, all mahogany concert ukulele made in USA. Pre war CF Martin and Co style two soprano ukulele. Interesting. Nice old Martin uke. Uh, 1970s Martin uh, Baritone uh, ukulele out of Koa. It's nice wood. Uh, Ravina uh, Setimio Soprano Piano Accordion. Yep. And one of these kind of guitar zithers that no one wants. And they're everywhere. Wooden case portable piano keyboard. Uh, early 20th century pear shaped mandolin with aluminium back. Yeah. Uh, well, that's good. It's got an aluminium back, but you don't show a picture of the aluminium back but uh yeah i know what these look like but that's cool uh and there are a few of those about uh antique engine sarangi with four painted decoration okay uh but ba- ba- archimedes drill the spiral shaft is still with brass so these are cool uh arnold domech's performance costume so that was from one of the previous a uh, previous auction um last year so that obviously didn't sell uh tambourine de burn of rectangular form Interesting. Lacknell & Co. Concertina. Probably be popular. Uh, tenor banjo by Jules Heiner. Zimmerman. Berlin. Uh, banjo shaped tenor guitar with modern pearl slot inlay. Rare hollow arm mandriola. 12 string. You do sometimes see these on eBay and stuff. Not quite like this one, but it's quite uh, quite cute. <coughs> Shield shaped flatback mandolin. Circa 1910. You do get a few of these. Uh, has a fairly low playing action. There you go, it's a bit of info fee. Interesting early 20th century Italian Neapolitan mandolin. Neapolitan mandolin, Neapolitan mandolin, another Neapolitan mandolin, various instrument stands, a Sabian paragon symbol, vintage uh, Hona harmonica shop display cabinet. Well, if you've got a harmonica collection, it could quite be good. Uh, original phone photograph of the Green Mill Jazz. Uh, Hona Melodica uh, and a child xylophone, etc. Uh, Romanian Ozark Pearshek Mandolin. Uh, great musicians. Study of the world's great musicians. Nice. Rare 1930s Selma Tenor Banjo made in France with Rosewood. Uh, 1930s English Five String Zither Banjo stamped A. Weaver. John Grandson's Banjo Ukulele. There's a lot of banjo related things. Wayman Five String Resonator Banjo. Uh, Gibson EM-150 electric mandolin. Uh, SS uh, Stewart 5-string open back banjo made in USA. Gibson TB4 trapdoor tenor banjo. It's like someone's getting rid of their banjo collection. Um, Italian bowl back mandolin labelled uh, labeled Fernando Dell. Uh, Rosewood cabinet piano by George Peachy of London. Let's have a look at that. You don't often see things like that to... That's curious, bit of furniture. Um, a square piano by Frederick Beck. Oh, a square piano, not by Broadwood. Interesting. Uh, rare and important pair of past and super ideal uh, copper tuned timpani. Interesting. There's a few pictures on this. Always expensive, the old uh, timpanis. A uh, pair of premier hand-tuned copper trimp- uh, timpani drums. Uh, another one, a hand-tuned copper timpani drum. Uh, Ludwig four-piece drum kit made in USA, circa 1950. Uh, so that's probably quite expensive, I think, was it? Did Ringo Starr use a Ludwig kit? I can't remember, possibly. Premier 20-inch bass drum, gold sparkle finish. Uh, premier 14-inch um, brass shell 10 lug snare drum. It's quite nice. Uh, some bass drum shells. A set of 18 tubular bells. Good selection of huge percussion sticks and mallets. Interesting. Yep, someone's interested in that. That's a good collection. Drum dial precision, drum tuner. Selection of smaller percussion stuff. More percussion, uh, Zildjian, uh, Karope symbol. So sold on behalf of the estate of, of Colin Goldsmith. 
a pair of Zildjian Symphonic 18 French cymbals, Sabian XS20 Chinese cymbal, a pair of vintage Zildjian Avedis paste crush cymbals and some other stuff. Five various vintage cymbals include the Zildjian Istanbul, two ram's horn shofars. Uh, I think I've got a shofar somewhere. Somewhere in my room. Um, Blackwood flute with 11 keys by and stamped Ranchilio. Blackwood flute with metal head joint and German silver uh, keywork. Uh, Cocuswood Sikama system flute. Interesting. Uh, good mid 19th century Cocuswood court anglais. That's interesting. You don't often see a court anglais. The auction, so there you go. That's a good one. Good and rare brass natural horn from the third quarter. Yeah, you don't see natural horns that often either. Uh, it's inscribed Krona in Vienne, so Vienna. Interesting. 18th century. Good brass cornet and it's called Rauru Serpente. A silver plated cornet by inscribed J. Higgum. Good silver plated trumpet with conical bore, circa 1926. Actually, let's have a quick look at this because that's quite. Uh, that's not. That's very nice. It looks like a nice fancy uh, cornet. And let's carry on. Silver plated trumpet by Besson. Silver plated trumpet, clipper tone. Brass trumpet, circa 1860. Inscribed Weber Lobau. Brass flugel horn by an inscribed Gabruda Voigt. Silver plated ten horn by Cousson and C. Brass ten horn by Hilari F. Sudra. Silver plated imperial model euphonium um, by and inscribed Boozy and Co. Brass trombone by an inscribed F. Van Calviert. Good and rare silver plated reed brass contrast. Rare brass alto saxophone, uh, made in 1856. Mm, interesting. Uh, yeah, Adolphe Sax Paris. Yeah, interesting. Uh, Bougie and Hawks Regent Oboe, cased with uh, Bougie and Hawks flute, it looks like. Emperor Silver Plated Fleet, yeah. Uh, good pair of Bougie and Hawks Emperor clarinets, early 19th century boxwood and brass mounted. Uh, single. Uh, key military fifes. Interesting. Rosewood flute circa 1815 by and stamped H. Journeur. Rosewood flute circa 1899 by and stamped Roddle Cart and Co. Old Rosewood eight key flute and stamped with nickel keys. Ebonized nine key flute by and stamped Jos Rusha Munich. Three old Rosewood piccolos, one stamped Buffet. Uh, five various old fives within an old leather case. Uh, three old boxwood flutes in need of restoration. One is something. One stamped F. Heller, another Hollinger, and the other illegibly stamped. Interesting. Old bombard with two brass keys, also an ebonized ethnic uh, chanter. Yes. From the Dolmetsch connection. Contemporary. Corn moose with two brass keys and ferrule. Uh, three old flutes in need of restoration. All cased. Rose with silver mounted eight key flute by and stamped Mozani and Co. Okay. Two open whole flutes in need of restoration. One with ivory mouthpiece or head joint. Yep. Uh, interesting 19th century French brass. Oh, Philclide. Uh, I think by and stamped Gouchard Brevet Paris in need of extensive restoration. Oh, that's an interesting looking thing. Uh, ebonized closed hole flute, set of six graduated brass whistles with an original case. I think French brass lacquered tenor saxophone by Dolnet, a Marty Crasslis brass tenor horn, Joseph Sternberg four valve silver plated euphonium, a Joseph Sternberg brass flute piece. Valve French horn, mouthpiece, uh, stag brass tenor horn, Armati Crashless brass euphonium, Bentley brass trombone, Lidl brass French horn, Copper and brass French horn, inscribed Sebastian 
buckling, that's uh, quite interesting. Interesting little mixture of metals. Uh, Lade brass soprano saxophone extension mouthpiece. Pro sound jazz two gold uh, lacquer delta saxophone. Uh, Elk heart 300 series green metallic colored alto saxophone. That is a pretty funky looking uh, saxophone, isn't it? Nice color. Um, Trevor James, Alpha Gold Lacquer Delta Saxophone, Contemporary American Brass Alto Saxophone, um, inscribed M, M, M bag with crook and cup case, Trevor James, Alpha Gold Lacquer Saxophone, Jupiter Brass Alto Saxophone, uh, Stag Brass Tenor Saxophone, Sarum Wood Clarinet in B flat with two barrel joints, Yamaha 26 2 clarinet. With the case, three old clarinets, all cased. If you are interested in some clarinets, um, to the next page. Three case metal flute stamped Trevor James. 30 various brass instrument mouthpieces. Baritone saxophone mouthpiece with ligature. Selma Paris S80 tenor saxophone mouthpiece. And something else. Uh, bass clarinet mouthpiece with a ligature and cap. Selma Paris uh, clarinet mouthpiece, loads of mouthpieces, uh, more mouthpieces, having a saxophone, uh, tenor mouthpiece uh, for, uh, for, 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 for something or other, and um, cornet mouthpieces and a box of cleaning or oil, a valve oil in fact, gold plated Dennis Wick cornet mouthpiece, velt clang brass baritone saxophone with crook box with an ivory clarinet by and stamped w millhouse cg con perfected wonder cornet mm, how wonderful ah we're on to bowed instruments interesting 19th century violin labeled clots interesting 19th century violin unlabeled early 20th century violin of the vienna school german violin circa 1900 German Stradivari copy, circa 1890. Early 20th century violin, labelled Jacobus Steiner. Mid 20th century violin, labelled Nicolas Amatus. 19th century German violin, with later neck and scroll. 19th century violin, in need of restoration. Interesting old small viola, in need of uh, restoration. Hop full size violin and two three quarter violins. Seven various violins. Large quantity of string instrument chin rest, a large country of various fittings, French Maystone violin bearing retail label, contemporary violin labelled Brian uh, Cipriano Vincentino. This auction garden hall gate always has these kind of what they just call contemporary um, instruments with Italian labels, I don't know, they've got loads of them. Um, violin bearing repairs labelled inscribed Marco Scaramuza. Uh, for saying Cremona, and on 1995 with carved lines head scroll repaired. So who knows about this stuff? Uh, Dresden violin, circa 1900. French DTL half size violin, German half size violin, four old full size violins, late 19th century German violins, late 19th century violin stamped hot. 19th century violin labelled Casper de Salo. Let's have a quick look. Unfortunately, unless it's a really fine kind of instrument, they don't really have many pictures on here. Seven various old violin necks. Violin case for four violins. That's always handy, isn't it? Nice, nice brown colour. Uh, violin circa 1900. Russian violin labelled Richard Rubus. These are all these rounded... Uh, ones that you get you can't see it from this picture but they're all just rounded you get loads of them they will say they're russian but i think they're all made in germany early 20th century unusual violin shape bowed fretted zither basically uh yeah you get them about they're not really that rare 16 various violins la 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 uh three quarter size violin 1920 uh scottish violin labeled made by eric l gibson 1936 uh this has been up before uh, i know actually where this has been sold from some other online collection before so that's back uh, late 19th century 1 8th size violin with one piece back. Late 19th century eccentric German folk violin. Uh, which I think was potentially also in their last auction. But that's popular. Someone's going to 
wants to add to their collection of random violins, unusual late like 19th century violin. Uh, Paul Didier, if someone's interested in that. Let's have a look once again, not very good on the pictures, so hard to tell. Unusual 19th century uh, German violin with high angular arch back, carved head labelled for Dinandus Galliano. So, hmm, interesting uh, head there, not to my taste. Uh, late 19th century 1 8 size violin, early 20th century 7 8 violin, French 3 quarter size violin, another 3 quarter, contemporary German violin, early 20th century German violin labelled Friedrich August Glass, French violin labelled Jeff Breton, early 20th century viola, uh, late 19th century violin, German double purple violin labelled Hermann Schwartz. German violin, circa 1920. French violin, labelled Nicholas Bartholini, Luthia. Uh, three quarter violin. 19th century violin with simulated table cracks. Early 20th century German violin. Interesting 19th century violin, probably Saxon. But is it interesting? That is the question. Well, it does have an interesting back, so I'll give it that. It is potentially interesting. Um, I'm just not paying too much attention to a lot of these things because there's just so much of it and some of it is all pretty standard tradey stuff. Uh, early 20th century violin, early 20th century German violin. Interesting letter written by David Lowry uh, agreeing uh, to submit his Allard Stradivarius, uh, Stradivarius uh, violin as security against a loan, dated 16th of September 1892. So that's pretty cool, you know, if you like uh, history. Of things and stuff to do with strads that's quite useful violin fittings french violin labeled luther artistic uh jean baptiste collin i've seen uh, violin by that workshop before uh, not too bad there you go if someone wants a french violin uh french three-quarter size cases cases more cases late 19th century violin someone's interested in that is there any good pictures uh, not really, doesn't look that exciting. Uh, French violin circa 1890, German violin circa 1890. Uh, load of books on violin making, yep. Uh, Giovanni Acconero, Ivan, da, da, da. so it's about the uh, Cosio de Salavu, the Count, and his collection. Uh, Girolamo Amati Viola in the Gallery Intenza Treasures. Uh, William Henley, Standard Dictionary Suit of the Time. Florian Leonard, Make of Central Italy. Florian Leonard with the popular shop in uh, in North London. Um, Chris, uh, the, uh, the American Violin. This was, there was a big exhibition in the US like a few years ago, like maybe like 2016 it's about like american violin making and that's the book which kind of covers that stuff uh i've looked at a few pages of it it's quite inter looks quite interesting uh klaus grunker C. Ka uh, karl schmidt and walker i think it's about german bow makers um still life of an owl parched perched over or something and then a violin interesting uh no lots so that's been removed seven various early hardback musical scores musical scores musical scores 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 this actually is pretty cool. Early interesting large leather and brass bound harper book containing various musical scores in extremely poor condition. Title and forward pages missing and or damaged. So, curious. Looks interesting, it's probably something mocked up to look old, but anyway, looks curious. Loads of stuff there. Uh, this is, this has got loads of Galpin Society journals. There you go, Galpin Society journal is like the premier journal uh about musical instruments so uh, if you want to learn a bit about that large quantity of london other musical auction catalogues nice um here's a load of stuff uh that book about joachim chilk is actually amazing um in german but uh the instruments of joachim chilk are amazing like so much kind of ivory and stuff but it, they're out of this world in terms of the decoration so intricate it's really worth looking at that another henley more musical stuff uh mr black's violins golden age of violin making in spain which i would like to look at uh, another henley uh hill and sons book would be interesting samuel zhang which is a dictionary of antique instruments uh the, the violin making and other stuff uh, etchings of famous uh composers i presume musicians composers yeah 
uh, do, 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 still life violin, very nice. Uh, Herbert Schofield, half length portrait. After Irving Martin, da da, Prince. After Eftod's music melting, yeah, more Prince and stuff. Not that exciting for us, but why not? Let's have a quick look. Um, bow display case. Oh, that's curious. Edwardian bow display case. And then 24 uh, division bow case and a 24 division bow case and three 12 division bow cases. Interesting. Uh, 24 division bow case, large bundle of bows, check CITES regulations, bundle of bows, CITES, bows, more bows, 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 uh, three contemporary rock style violin bows, pretty much Chinese, old violin bows, swan head, da da da, other bows, more bows, 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 yeah, not that exciting, uh, German silver mounted uh, cello bow, what is this, stump by, stump by Vigneron Paris, Go. I silver overload ebony 81 grams check CITES not that many pictures but maybe you can ask for some more French silver mounted violin bow by Louis Fazon silver mounted violin by branded Satori Paris but clearly not by otherwise you would have way higher estimate uh, French nickel mounted bow by Bazaar silver mounted bow stamped what's this k glisters or something silver mounted violin bow and stamped giorgio uh Bobo milano french nickel mounted violin bow from the e alsha workshop here yeah. uh, let's carry on german silver mounted violin bows by hoya interesting french Silver mounted violin by and branded Chano. That's in quite nice condition, uh, he says. Yeah. Hard to say. Not really any condition reports. Uh, French silver mounted violin bow, workshop of J.J. Martin. A faintly stamped Guarini. Uh, French nickel mounted 7 8 violin bow of the Bazin school. French nickel mounted violin bow allegedly stamped Paris. French nickel mounted violin bow stamped Georges Aparout. Silver mounted violin bow stamped Tort. French nickel mounted violin bow stamped Roger. Um, Roger Francois Lot. Silver mounted violin bow stamped HS. Stick round. Silver mounted violin bow stamped Curridus. Uh, silver mounted violin bow unstamped. French silver mounted violin bow of the Usha school. Uh, French silver mounted violin bow by and stamped Kuno. Uh, English silver mounted violin uh, cello bow stamped uh, Dodd, circa 1820. Probably by a member of the Dodd family. Stick round there, but hmm, it could be quite. An, if that is a, a Dodd bow, it could be interesting. I'm not sure about that. Contemporary French nickel mounted unused viola bow. A good silver mounted unused cello bow. Uh, French cello bow unstamped. Good silver mounted violin bow. French silver mounted uh, cello bow by uh, Marie Louise Piano. Uh, French idiot silver mounted violin bow, German silver mounted violin bow of the Nuremberger School, French silver mounted violin bow by Marc Lebert, uh, silver mounted viola bow by um, branded Jan Kandowski, uh, French silver mounted bow by Eugene uh, Kinyo Huri, half size nickel mounted by bow stamped J.E. Vickers. Uh, German nickel silver mounted violin bow by and stamped Gustav Praja uh, 1920. This can be quite nice. Uh, bows actually. Bit of wear there. Um, French nickel mounted uh, cello bow stamped uh, Vitor Fatik at Paris. Fine and interesting English silver mounted violin bow of the Tubbs School. Fine silver mounted French violin bow, unstamped. English silver mounted 7 8 
violin bow. Fine English silver mounted violin bow by Instant um, Jazz Tubbs. Good English silver mounted violin bow, probably by James uh, Tubbs. Instant German silver mounted violin bow and stamped uh, Martin Leipzig. Good uh, German decorative nickel mounted Knopf violin bow. Look at that uh, interesting uh, decoration there. Oh, we've just uh, gone <laughs> off somewhere else there for a second. Uh, that was a bit random. Um, let's just go back. Uh, buh, 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 buh. English violin bow and stick stamped Dodd Old German nickel mounted violin bow and stamped Old German nickel mounted violin bow and stamped Silver mounted violin bow stamped Laforge Nickel mounted violin bow, another bow Silver mounted violin bow French nickel mounted viola bow stamped Roger Breton French silver mounted violin bow and stamped uh, Charles NL à Paris So few bows there worth looking at the pictures a bit better if you can and see what you can ascertain there's a bit of information gives you the weight and some other information on the bow so worth looking at in more detail uh, english violin of the further school unlabeled always see a lot of these kind of further school violins so interesting back and Uh, rare eccentric English violin by Thomas Howell of Bristol. You sometimes see those ones around. 19th century violin labelled Nicholas Lupo. Interesting early 19th century English violin labelled John Morrison, maker 1818 with inked purfling. Yep, so someone's interested in that. Interesting back. Uh, contemporary viola labelled Michel de Lucia. Late 19th century violin labelled Geo from Hudson. And we're on to the next one. Early 20th century violin, uh, indecipherable label. Early 19th century violin labelled Perry Maker, Dublin, 1829. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Yeah, not really convinced that that is anything to do with uh, Perry, but mm, not sure about that. Maybe it's a slightly different one. Anyhow, a uh, good English violin attributed to Emmanuel Whitmarsh, French violin by and stamped Pinella Chamol, good French violin labelled Luthier Dart, Lucien Andre, good French 7 8 violin labelled um, to do Luther Artistique, uh, early 20th century French violin, late 19th century German violin of the Berlin School. Beer and Son 7 8th size Barzoni violin. Hawks and Son 7 8th violin. A lot of 7 8th violins. Good French violin stamped Breton Brevet. Interesting 19th century violin labelled J. Dear Love. Good late 18th century, early 19th century violin by a member of the Hopf family and branded Hopf below the button. There we go. French violin by and labelled CHJB Colin Mazar. Interesting violin labelled and um, Zepesi Bella, um, London 80, 1895. So, curious. Contemporary violin by and labelled Donald B.A. Palmer. I kind of think that might have been in a previous auction. Um, violin by and labelled Carol. V Vizorek, uh, there we go, in Prague, so it's a Czech violin, mid 19th century English violin, two pieces of back of plainish wood, gives you all the dimensions to look at. Nice hole in this hole in the scroll. Uh, French violin labelled Paul Marginot, Mircourt, Neuner, and Hornsteiner violin. Violin Tech 1819 labelled El Tesoro. Good Canadian violin by and labelled Floyd Holly, Vancouver, BC. Violin labelled Ansaldo Poggi, Fe Fece in Bologna. 
Yeah, always a lot with these kind of Italian labelled instruments on uh, Gardner Hall Gate. Earliest 20th century Stradivari copy stunt concert. Early 20th century Stradivari copy viola. Interesting violin of the Wilkinson School. Labelled Joseph Antonius Rocker. Violin of the Neuner and Hornsteiner School, circa 1870. Violin of Neuner and Hornsteiner School, circa 1880. Violin of Neuner Hornsteiner, French 7 8 size violin. French half size violin from the Collins School. Interesting English Baroque violin, circa 1800. Pretty sure that this was at the last auction. Or, or maybe not. Maybe that's slightly different. Um, interesting uh, scroll there. It's very curious. Um, yeah. Interesting. A Scottish violin by and labelled John McCarter of Dalkeith. Someone's interested in that one. Let's have a quick look. It's very round. It's very rounded. A uh, good German violin by a member of the Klotz family. That also looks kind of familiar, but maybe I'm just remembering everything wrongly. A uh, good French violin by and labelled C.H. Uh, Colin Mazat. Interesting 19th century violin in need of some restoration. Basically, it's in bits. It's completely in bits. Have fun. Try and reassemble it for probably a lot of money. But interesting, nevertheless. Good violin and labelled uh, Luigi Salado. Another Italian labelled violin. English violin by and labelled David R. Ouvry uh, Maidenhead. So that was someone's interested in that one. There we go. Nice. English viola from the first half of the 20th century. Interesting early purfled violin, possibly English. That I definitely think was in the uh, other auction. That's quite nice. But the top is a bit uh, interesting. Fine French violin by Charles Ressouche and labelled um, Luthier Artistique. There's a lot of information in that. So sometimes they're pretty good with their information. Uh, interesting German violin of the Klotz School, circa 1790. French JTL violin labelled Mansoy à Paris, German violin circa 1900. Early 20th century violin, interesting early 19th century violin bearing a repairer's label dated 1884. That also looks familiar, but I think it's just my brain is gone. Uh, Neuner and Hornsteiner violin labelled GHZ within a heart enclosed by a circle. How lovely. Interesting early pochette, probably English, from the 18th century. Well, that's uh, curious. It's been restored. Um, no pictures of the back. Definitely a curious little thing. Uh, various covers for cello. Old Czech double bass restored and in need of further restoration. So not fully restored. Good contemporary electric double bass with two pickups. That's pretty wild looking. Uh, contemporary three-quarter cello, early 19th, early 20th century German Stradivari uh, copy cello. That's kind of popular. Uh, contemporary cello, uh, early 20th century German cello, another 20th century German cello. Good modern cello by labelled Benedict Lang. German three-quarter cello, good cello. Uh, German Stradivari copy. Uh, cello, fine and interesting early 20th century cello. That's got a very high estimate on it. Possibly Italian and a copy of uh, D'Amico Montigana. Montigana. The two piece back of faint fine medium curl with similar wood to the size and head, the table of a medium width grain, going to the flanks and the varnish of a light reddish brown colour on a golden ground. So they're talking a lot about this and they obviously think that it's uh, something I'm not sure. Um, yeah, there we go. So, interesting. If you are into cellos. Oh, and that's it. So we sped through that one. Uh, yeah, so, what am I going to pick for this auction? Uh, I am going to try and find, where did we find this aluminium banjo? Because, yeah, here it is. This 1895 Riley Baker Perfected patent five string aluminium banjo. I like aluminium instruments. I've not seen one like this before. Nice engraving. Looks cool. Looks nice if you like banjos. Add it to your collection. So it's been an interesting auction. Always find that 
Garner Hall get are usually good with the pitches, but for some reason on bowed strings, I find them really bad. Like, see, you've got a banjo here. You have all these good pitches of the banjo, but yet with the actual violins and things, especially stuff of a lot of value, you don't get many pitches. So that's my advice to Gardner Hallgate is put better pitches of the bowed strings. But otherwise, an interesting auction. And yeah, I do like this uh, aluminium banjo. So uh, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, sorry I had to speed through. It's just so many uh, auctions, so many things to look at. So we can't look at everything. So uh, if you have any thoughts or suggestions on different things or things to focus on, uh, let me know. And thanks for watching. Ciao. Bye. Many thanks for tuning in to the Musical Instrument Investigator. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like, uh, subscribe and turn on notifications. And watch out for the next video coming soon.